in my channel. Um, huge thanks to everybody who has been supporting me with my little 500 subscriber giveaway. Um, it really means a lot. I'm so excited about doing it. And it is this one here. And uh, if you're new to my channel and you haven't yet subscribed, press the little subscribe button. And uh, yeah, check out all my content and what I've got coming up. I'll keep up to date with what I've got coming up. Today's video is my empties video for this month. And I haven't done too bad this month. Woohoo, there's quite a bit in there. So um, I'm just going to get into it and kind of tell you what I thought about everything. So the first thing I have is this Aromatherapy Associates Revive Body Gel. So this one here, I can see that very well. There we go. So it came in a Look Fantastic box. Um, it's their Body Gel Refreshing and Invigorating um, Gel. It's 40ml. Now, it smells really, really nice. It smells like um, every spa you have ever been in. So when you've been for a massage or anything like that, that is what it smells like. Um, it's quite strong. Um, it was nice, it was a gel, so it was kind of cooling when it went on and um, dried quite quickly so there was no like oily or tacky kind of residue left over. Um, the one thing I say is um, it did very well at repelling my husband. He hated it, he hates the smell of it, he hated everything about it, he didn't, yeah, he literally, when I tried it one night, it was literally like, what is that smell, the whole bedroom stinks, and it was this. So, um, yeah, if I've got a cob on, then I could always kind of rebuy and put this on and keep him away for weeks. <laughs> uh, myself, I don't know if I would buy it again. I, um, I'm not really, as you know, I'm not even really into a creamer. I, I am trying to get better at kind of putting creams on. Um, the gel, I don't know. For me, it was very nice, but I wouldn't buy it again. It's not something that would go, yep, I'm going to get this. It was a bit too overpowering, although it smelt nice. Um, so yeah, kind of 50-50 on that one. Um, the next is our good old favourite. Um, I absolutely love it. It's the um, little version of the dry shampoo. This one was in Sweet Pink. Um, I really like the smell. They do another one which is like California Breeze. And every now and again I switch between the two. Um, really, really like it. Does what it says on the tin. And yeah, I like it as a good alternative to the Batiste. Sometimes I'm not really... I don't know if I should say it, but I'm not really over keen. I think that Batiste is too heavy sometimes for me. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. And uh, yeah, so it's in my monthly shop well, as and when I run out. Uh, the next item I have, here it is, is a little perfume sample. Now it is this one here. So it's Idol, uh, the new fragrance. It's a Lancome uh, fragrance. I don't know if I've got anything left. It's really, really nice. There we go. It's really, really nice. Really, really nice. Now I do, um, I have had quite a few Lancome um, perfumes before. Um, I've never tried this. I got this from a sample. I don't know if anyone's seen on like Facebook, but um, this came from So Post. So you literally just, um, as and when you find the little links, just click on free sample. I've had loads of stuff this month. It's ridiculous. Um, I say it's ridiculous, it's great. So this came from them, really, really like it. I definitely would buy it again. It's beautiful, really, really nice. I was really impressed with that smell. It's kind of like, it reminds me of it pink. It's really deft to put a, a color to a smell, but it smells pink, like really pink, fruity. Yeah, and it, it was quite a nice, it wasn't heavy, but it lasted all day. So a couple of squirts, gone, went to work. I didn't need to put any more on. So yeah, I loved it. The next item in my empties is this Soap and Glory. Now this is a, uh, this, I got this uh, as a gift in a gift box, but um, I tend to buy this from Boots. It's got the same smell across the Soap and Glory brand. It's gorgeous, really, really nice. Now this was the, the Righteous Butter and it was literally like butter. I mean, I've literally got the pot apart from a little bit there. Oh but it was as thick as like butter. It was so good. Again, I'm not really a body cream person. Um, and I say I didn't use it on my body. This I used on my arms, um, hands and feet. And yeah, really, really nice. Um, I would definitely buy this again because the smell is too good. Um, and yeah, it was lovely. Really, really nice. 
even the fact that I don't really use creams, I would still buy it again. Right, next. So I have, now you're not going to be able to see that because there's nothing really left in the pot. Now I've had this for ages. Can't even tell you how long ages it's been, but this is an Elizabeth Arden All Gone Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. Um, it's really nice. It comes in like, um, so it's got like see-through kind of liquid and then like a blue tinge and you shake it up and use it. Um, and it's kind of like oil based. It's not really got an over smell, um, but it takes everything off. So um, all my waterproof mascaras, everything, all my waterproof eyeliners, it takes it all off really, really easily. And then all I do after it is just put a toner on and take any excess oil out. Really, really nice product. Um, I would buy it again if I hadn't have discovered like cleansing balms. <laughs> I'm in the, you know, sometimes I flit and I'm like, I'm a... I love scrubs this month I'm like cleansing balms all the way so for me I would definitely buy it again but I'm not going to yet because I have some cleansing balms to finish through but it's a really nice um, eye makeup remover and lip makeup remover as well and it's not drying you know sometimes you get it and you're like you, dr you feel like your skin's just been like thrown into a desert and dried there for like like jerky that sort of dry <laughs> and it's not um, it's really really nourishing uh, so I have, random, I have a L'Oreal um, New Nude Magic CC Cream. Now it's not new, so don't let the, the thing f fool you. I've had it ages. I've literally just finished it. Now I bought this last year, maybe. Maybe towards the latter part of the beginning of the other year. Um, but it was when I was struggling for... Um, looking for foundations that weren't too heavy and then I came across this CC cream and it's anti-dullness smart pigment capsules and I loved it it's color correcting beautifier and um, it's got SPF 20 in and I loved it because it was purple literally I know it doesn't look purple I don't know if there's a little bit left in there no there isn't but it comes out purple like that sort of purple and then as you rub it into your skin it turns into like the colour of foundation um, it wasn't too dark so there wasn't like tan lines it wasn't too heavy and um, sometimes some um, foundations make me feel like my face is suffocating like it's like really thick barrier and um, sometimes I'm fine with it if it's like on a night out but if I'm wearing it all day I like to feel like my skin can still breathe I really really like this I definitely don't think I can buy it again so I might have to have a look and see if there's something else um, but yeah it was L'Oreal Paris and it was great absolutely loved it um, what have I got? so what about this so this is the beautiful um, tea scrub it's exfoliating and glow it's by um, delicious I'm hoping I'm spelling it yeah delicious <laughs> Um, and this was a black Asante um, scrub. It's got essential oil, sugar and salt, sweet almond oil. Um, and it came in my glossy box. Now, um, I have done a little video on this if you want to go and find it. Um, I smelt it. It stank. It smelled awful to begin with, um, as my review says. But when I used it, it was absolutely lovely. It's one of the scrubbiest scrubs I have come across. And it leaves your skin lovely because of like the almond oils and things in there. It leaves it kind of like feeling like you've used an oil. Um, I really like this. I liked it so much that the my one of my lovely um, subscribers and friends sent me two packs. Uh, not the singer, but two packs of this. Um, so I've already opened the other one. One thing I will say is it makes a damn mess everywhere. It's like somebody has opened seven or eight tea bags and just threw them in the bathroom or in the shower so it's not a quick scrub so be prepared to be cleaning afterwards but yeah I love it I have two more packs I'm using one now it will be once I run out of these two packs I'm gonna go and get the there's a, a different flavor there's like a coconut one I want to try so I'm gonna go out and get that so what have I got I have a balance me hyaluronic plumping mist um, it came in one of the boxes, uh, it was 5ml and it says what it does on the tin. It wasn't overly kind of smelly, um, it did have a little fragrance but not really 
anything to write home about. Um, I love anything with hyaluronic and I usually, usually I ran out of my hyaluronic acid serum. Um, I didn't buy any more because I have loads of facial serums to try. Um, Balance Me are a great brand. I don't like facial sprays. I don't like them. I don't. Setting sprays are bad enough for me. Um, I just, I don't like the spray in your face. Um, however, it was nice. You know for the for what it did um i wouldn't buy it again because it's a spray but but the actual product itself is really really nice really nice so if you like a spray and you don't mind that it's definitely worth a try save you having to use a serum me i just use it as an extra boost so i sprayed like wait for it to dry a little bit patted everywhere in then put a serum so it was like an extra barrier um i really like it but i don't like a spray each to their own. <laughs> um, so I have a peel off face mask, it's a boots one, and it was the tea tree and witch hazel um, deep plore, deep cleans the pore and tightens pores, remove blackheads. It was really, really nice, this um, peel off mask. And it wasn't like, I've done some peel off masks that take your skin and your hair and everything off. It wasn't like that at all, so it came off really, really nice. Um, it took a bit longer to dry. I think I was a bit patchy, I was thicker in places, so the thicker areas took longer than it said to dry. So uh, that was operator failure rather than product failure. Um, but I really liked it. Um, it's quite a gentle peel off and my skin felt really nice underneath it. I have done a little video on it, so maybe if you want, check it out, but I would buy it again. I've used quite a bit this month. Um, oh, controversial. So I have this. I use the Shishido Power Infusing Concentrate. Um, now it was 10 mil. It's really, really expensive. It smells quite nice. Again, it's not really overly, what's on my nose? It's not really overpowering. And it's like a little kind of opaque gel. So it goes on very nice. Um, considering it's got all these things, I don't, I didn't see much different using it, difference using it. Um, and it's more like a serum and I used it in the morning and I used it at night and yeah, I, w I wouldn't go and buy this again. I love the packaging. I mean, this is really, really nice and tactile, but for the price of it, I want to see results instantly. I want, oh, not, I'm, I can wait, I can wait a week or two, you know, maybe three. But um, I was using this for quite a while. 10 mil does go a long way. But yeah, I just, I didn't feel that it slotted into my skincare routine and did anything better than what I was using before. And what I was using before was, um, I think it was like the hyaluronic acid maybe. I can't quite remember what I was using before. But um, there wasn't a significant difference considering the price of it as well, so yeah not enjoyed i didn't really enjoy it and i wouldn't buy it again yeah the uh next one i have was a brazilian bod buff and it was by sol and it's a scrub it's a body scrub now it smelled nice really really nice but i didn't oh, it sounds really awful i didn't like the color of it so it's like a mustard color um and yeah, I just turned everything that colour, it was just a bit messy and I don't know, I didn't, it's like, it sounds really petty but I didn't like the colour of it. So it says use as a scrub on wet skin, apply as a body mask um, on dry skin, wait in 10 minutes before rinsing off. So you can use it as a scrub or a mask. I didn't use it as a mask. Maybe I should have given it a go as a mask. Um, so if there is another sample out there that I come across, because I got this from Feel Unique, I might get it to try it as a a mask but as a scrub I didn't like it because probably because of like the mask qualities of it the the color of it for a start was like that orange um, mustardy color and it was thick like a face mask um, and I didn't like it on my body the scrub bit in it was quite nice um, but yeah I didn't like the, the mask part of it I think um, as using it as a scrub I, don't, I wouldn't go and buy that again, and I love scrubs, but that's not the scrub for me. No. Um, next, well, might as well stay on scrubs though. So I've got a Radiance Body Scrub here. 
and that was by Urban Vida um, Natural Skin Care. Now, I really like this. I got it in a um, Look Fantastic box. Um, and it's got no, uh, no SLSs, no parabens, no GM ingredients. Um, and it smells really, really nice. It's like marigold type smell. It's very, very floral, but the scrub is really, really good, like really coarse. And it's got, it's like, it's with a gel, so it's not a dry scrub. So what you scrub, so you scrub, 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 and then obviously the water hits it and the gel takes it off. Um, I really, really like that scrub. Really, I'd definitely buy this again. It's 50 mil and it's a shame really because I was kind of like gutted when I got the last bit. I was like, oh my God. I actually put a bit of water in to shake it round to kind of get a bit more out because I really like that product. So I was like swilling to get the last drops out. Um, I have stay on scrubs. So I've got a body scrub here. Um, it's tangerine and coffee exfoliating body scrub and it's up circle um, made with repurposed coffee grounds and this was in tangerine um, there's still products in here because I can't quite get it out it's a really really thick scrub um, it's really messy as well um, it's really thick in the sense that it's just literally coffee grounds thrown with what all the oils it wants in there and it's like a paste um, I'm, I'm guessing this comes in a pot to get this out because I don't see how you can put it in like a, a tube or anything like that because it is that thick. Um, I used it on my body and again it left quite a nice kind of oil feeling. Um, I have a scrub, facial scrub that I'm using at the moment and for that reason I don't know if I'm overly keen on it yet. I've used it a second time, I'm going to have another go and see. Um, but I only got one use of this for the body. I, it was a very nice scrub, it's a little bit cut, not as coarse as the tea scrub. I prefer my tea scrub, so if it was a choice of this and the tea scrub, the tea scrub wins. And if I was given this to try, I wouldn't not like it. So, but because I found a better scrub, I would go with that scrub. Uh -huh. So yeah, it did what it said on the tin, but it was, it was a lot more messier. It, and it was really hard to work with, at least with the tea leaves. They were a bit looser, so I could go in and grab a handful and do what I needed to do. With that, I was like squeezing it, trying to get out of the pack. I don't know whether that's just a poor sample pack and the packaging wasn't right for the sample or whether it's just that thick. It's like paste. Um, yeah, so leave that one there, eh? Now, I have used this here, which is the Patisserie de Bain Orange Crush Bath and Shower Gel. Got my hair on it. Um, really, really liked it. It's a really nice, it was 200ml. I picked this with Poundland. I was really impressed with it. And it smells like an orange, like sweet orange. I know you get things that like orange smells. This is like essence of orange. If you didn't tell me that, you know, this was um, a shower gel and I just had to smell it, say it was like an orange dessert it's that strong it was really really nice really gel really foamed up and I used a hell of a lot of this this month trying to get the tea scrub off me um, which is what I said in the video the scrub goes on great but trying to get it off I literally used a whole tub of shower gel trying to get not in one sitting but every time I used it I used like a quarter of a shower, shower gel trying to get the scrub off me so I was um, well scrubbed and left with a hint of orange for the rest of the day. <laughs> um, I have this here, which is the Context um, Microderm Regenerator. Now, I really like this product. It's 30 ml, um, and it's supposed to be a microderm regenerate like face scrub. I don't like it for that because <laughs> it's not the best scrubby face scrub. It's it's. There's a lot of gel in this cleanser. So it's more like a gel cleanser that's got little scrubby bits in. Um, I'm a double facial cleaner cleanser. So I'm a double scrubber basically. <laughs> um, I use a really coarse scrub. At the moment I'm using a coffee scrub from Dr. Botanicals, Dr. Botanics. Botanicals, really, really love it. Came in my uh, latest in beauty box. And then I've been using, oh, I was using this afterwards as more like a cleanser rather than a scrub because the scrub's not really enough scrub. It's not enough scrub to call it a microderm 
anything because there's not enough in there but the gel cleanser itself is really really nice so i like using this as my secondary face wash um, and i like it and i would buy it again to use as my secondary face wash not as a scrubber because it's not powerful enough in my eyes but i have i don't have sensitive skin when it comes to scrubbing and i like to feel like my skin has been taken off <laughs> Um, and then I'll deal with whatever's left underneath it afterwards. We'll moisturise and make my face feel okay afterwards. <laughs> right. I have here a DHC um, facial duo. It came, I got it from uh, one of the Feeling Unique samples. It was a deep cleansing oil and a face wash. And I've just done a little video on this. And I liked half of the product. So the cleansing oil I used to try and get some makeup off, it was just an eye look, nothing, not really anything much on my face, maybe at best lipstick if I can remember the video, but it was definitely an eye look. So it wasn't anything spectacular, it was the same kind of waterproof mascara, waterproof eyeliner, three or four different eyeshadow shades that I tried with my LMS Rose Cleansing Balm and the Oscar London cleansing balm so i used because i've done so this will be the third review of cleansing oils i've done this month um or within last yeah this month and um the, the oil just didn't match up to either of them and um, the elemis was far better the osculunta was really really good and managed to tackle it with a bit more of a attention to the eyelashes and 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 waterline this i literally had to scrub scrub i just i didn't rate the oil the face wash is really nice but the oil's not and as a duo i don't see the point um i don't see the point of buying one that i don't like to get the other so if i was going to get anything it would be the face wash to use as a secondary as, as in my secondary face routine but the oil pants didn't like it for me it just it didn't do what it didn't stand up to the other two that I had compared and I have you know I would the LMS is lovely I've got the Oscar so it, it for me that was better and that was not as good as the LMS so I don't see the point of getting something a product that I wouldn't use and don't find yeah, as good so I only liked half of that oh I'm gonna knock all my empties I'm nearly there nearly there um I have a sample of um a foundation so it's the Lancome ooh, double wear ultra wear in beige vanilla so it's number 24 it's got fps 20, uh, 15 in it and i really really like this um color wise it's not too bad um, i don't know if it was the right match for me um, i really like it and i'm going to put the box to one side because i'm still looking for my perfect shade and my perfect um, foundation this isn't that far off it and it wouldn't surprise me after I've tried everything that I come back to this and go maybe it is this um yeah so I'm, I'm popping the box to one side so that I can actually remember what it's called and um, it's definitely worth a keep um so I'm just really it's if you're like me still looking for something this is worth a shout because it's better than the Revolution one I've tried and, you know, it's better than the Elf, I think, as well, that I've got. So, yeah, I'm, I'm almost sure I will go out and buy this, um, but I want to just try everything else. But it wasn't too bad of a kind of colour match for me anyway. Um, I have a Polar product. As you can see, it's been a while squeezed out. There's nothing in there now. This was the Velvety Sun Fluid Face and Body Cream. So it's SPF 30. I used it as a um, face cream. So I loved it. I think it was really, really nice. There was um, 20 mil. Oh, bear with me a second. That was a child trying to come in. So yeah, um, it was a, um, sorry if I repeat myself. I don't know where I was up to. <laughs> Um, it's a, I used it as a face cream. It was really, really nice. Not very heavily um, scented. Um, and it had, like I say, SPF 30 in it. And it was really, really nice. So I was using a serum, facial oil, eye cream, face cream. 
and um, yeah my skin didn't feel heavy or clogged and the SPF 30 I went out on a kind of like hackers type golf day with a couple of fellas um, and they all got sunburn and my face was not not even like you couldn't even tell I'd, caught, I'd even caught the sun or anything so um, yeah it was really really good um, I do love polar um, I will I would buy that again but I would buy it for summer so I would use it for a um, kind of like when there is some sun because we're in the UK so when the sun comes back um, I would use it for them because it was really really nice um, I have my vitamin C my <laughs> A balance me let me see that one very well it's a balance me vitamin C um, repair serum so it's got hyaluronic acid it's 98% natural it's 7 mil and I have just done a little video on this I loved it um, so it's turbocharger routine with a pea-sized amount of this powerful lightweight serum um, so it helps to reduce pigmentation and uneven skin tone my face had been um, I say had check that out I stopped using this four days ago and in four days I've got one two three in a little eye and something going on here um, so my skin had been amazing like when I did the video I was like check out my skin it's gorgeous four days later of not using it and look gone uh, well gone the here so that this one's like brought friends since it's got pitch that's the main pitch and then it's got a friend that's gone on either side and this one feels like a mountain and um, it smelled like vitamin C, like everything good. Um, I'm really gutted I've run out. Now I do have another vitamin C serum to try. I've started using something else and it's just not doing it. I think for me, vitamin C is the way forward. Um, so yeah, I really like that. And my skin did too. Got two products left. The first one is the LMS um, Pro Collagen Rose um, Cleansing Balm. I can't tell you. I can't sing its praises enough. I did a video at the beginning of the month with this. It's gorgeous. It's got a really nice rose scent. And it literally, from dry, I rubbed it on, whipped a, a hot flannel that had like hot water in it. And it took all my makeup off, including my... Um, Go Big or Go Home waterproof Kat Von D mascara and waterproof eyeliner with ease. You wouldn't have even known. I mean, you'd have, think it, you'd have thought it was crayon or felt tip because pff, it was gone. So, yeah, amazing. Definitely going to buy this again. But before I buy it, I want to try the original one first. And then whichever one is my favourite, I'm going to buy it. So, end of. It's that good. <laughs> The last thing I have is this, excuse the little tally marks. So this is, um, I've done uh, numerous videos on this. Um, this is Silk and Bubble, um, your, main, uh, your main attraction. So it's their Coconut Fig and Aloe Vera Super Nourishing Hair Growth Mask. I'm in love, in absolute love with this. One, I can't stop smelling it. It's just gorgeous. It's got um, sulfate free, gluten free, um, cruelty free, zero paraben, zero phthalates. I'm getting better at saying that. Um, and yeah, it's just a pot of goodness. As you can see, I've tried to get as much out as I can. I love it. I love it that much that I have started a secondary pot. And um, I think in my basket at the moment, there is a bestie bundle, which is because the pot itself is £30, but I have a 10% um, discount code, um, which is Lisa10. And if you press the drop down description on most of my videos, it's in the, there's a little affiliate code and like link in there. So if you do fancy it, it's worth a go. Um, but it's £30 for the pot and 27 if you're using my code. And I got 11 hair masks out of this. That's less than £2.70. I mean, if it was 10, it would be £2.70 a hair mask. And I'm talking like a good handful and on. And my hair has been absolutely amazing since. Um, really, really good. It has been amazing. It's so, my split ends, you know, usually before they would be like stuck up because they're just damaged. There's no damage to them anymore. 
um, they're not dry, they're not crispy, they're not crunchy, like my hair in between like uses still, it's got that underlying smell of coconut, it is literally, it gets in and it locks in. Now I have been using it as like a, so I jump in the shower, wash my hair um, with conditioner, not conditioner, shampoo, put this on and while I am scrubbing, shaving, you know, um, facial, I've got done a double cleanser so I'm doing my face, my body, my bits, my underarms and everything else that goes in and then like my shower gel, then the last thing I do is rinse my hair so it probably takes me nearly 10 minutes. It may not even take the full 10 minutes because some days I'm quicker than others but it's lovely. So I am a convert and I have been using it now for six, eight weeks and obviously I'm still using it because I have another pot. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and get this. I've got a bestie bundle, like I say, in my um, basket and you get two pots for like 49 50 instead of like 60 quid and then I've got like my 10% discount code so I'm going to get like 4 95 off it. So for nearly 45 quid, I'm going to get two of them and then every sort of six saves me spending 30 quid every six weeks. So yeah, love it. And that is me done. Look at all my little bits, my box of, yeah, done. That was a lot of products. I'm really, really pleased that I've um, managed to do so much this, this, this time, this month. So yeah, I hope you um, have enjoyed my empties video. Don't forget there is a 500 subscriber um, international giveaway at the moment. Again, that should be in a drop down description box, maybe in the comments as well. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, we'll have a chat in the comments and yeah, see you soon. Bye.